Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the Scraps of Fate patch. I'm our Magicka Warden with a set that I've never used before called Ice Furnace. When you deal frost damage, you deal an additional flame damage to all enemies within 8 meters around the initial target. This effect can occur once every 1 second. Damage wise, comparable with Ray of Fire, but Ray of Fire has a 2 seconds cooldown and only deals single target damage. We simply need to do frost damage to proc Ice Furnace which is not a big problem with Frost Reach as bearable, which deals frost damage over time. And with Crystal Snap and Arctic Blast, we have another two frost damage based abilities. So the uptime on Ice Furnace is really high. Never used it before, a mate talked about it a couple weeks ago, and I'm super impressed. Combined with his sip this time, after being hit by a disabling effect, immobilization or snare, you heal for 2k every 1 second for 5 seconds. A nice hot, which helps us for survivability. Combined with Makun, for extra 200 weapon spell damage and over 2k armor. Keep in mind, Ice Furnace gets empowered by weapon spell damage. So Makun is perfectly made for it. And the Master's perfected Ice Star from the front bar adds 700 weapon spell damage in total for 4 seconds if you use Destructive Touch. Probably a must have for every Magicka Warden. Especially since the new a passive Glacier Presence. Increase the damage of your Chilled status effect by 900 damage. And this gets even with your highest offensive stat. It's basically another proc set. With Frost Reach, we have a guaranteed proc on Chilled. Very nice. As filler, one Magma Incarnate, thanks to Magicka and Stamina Region. Armor test, 3 heavy. Ice Furnace is a heavy armor set. Then 3 light and one medium shoulder with two well fitted, one sturdy and four impen. Full prismatic glyphs of course, we need the extra stamina magica on the jewelry, two bloodthirsty for extra damage with the spell damage glyphs and then one magica recovery infused glyph definitely needed, tested it without and sustain was terrible. Front by sharpened eye stuff with the frost damage enchant for the extra chill status effect and back plus on the board. Decisive Sturdy. I already had Decisive Power this way better here. With the Magicka Drain Poisons, for extra Magicka region, you could go with the uh, Scapes Poisons, but it would decrease the uptime of his set. Skills Front Bar, Fetch and Faction, for Minor Roll, and a powerful Magic Damage Dot. Deep Fissure, you know it, for Minor Major Breach, really powerful. And Spam with Frost Switch. This morph for the extra dot, like this we have a higher uptime on Ice Furnace, Bird of Prey, a snare removable, minor berserk and mage expedition. Be careful with Bird of Prey, keep in mind his sip will only proc if you get stunned, immobilized or snared. So don't really spam Bird of Prey, otherwise his sip will not proc. Crystal Slap, even if they nerf the damage and the sustain, still worth use in my opinion. Really effective against all those range snipers and uh, saucers, that kind of stuff. As ultimate, Dawn Break of Smiting. Alternative go with Northern Storm as ultimate, but it's way too expensive for one reaction, in my opinion. Back by Lotus Blossom for Major Savagery Prophecy, the 12% crit rate buff, and extra healing. Blue Betty for sustain and the Major Sorcery buff, and even purchase. Bigger as self here and for the 3k armor, minor resolve, ice fortress resistance buff and minor protection 5% damage reduction. Arctic blast, powerful burst here, powerful AOE dot and even stuns AOE and on top has a big chance of applying the chill status effect. Probably the strongest warden skill in PvP. As defense ultimate, spell war, race not, probably not the best choice for extra resistance, stamina ulti region and HP. A Magicka race like Breton, Dunmore, High Elf should be way better. Mundus the Antonite for Magicka region, Crocosidus Filet for more Mag region, 33 points in Magicka and Western Health, like this we are at around 32k unbuffed. Let me see buffed, I think over 34k, yes, almost 35k on the back bar. Potions, normal tricep potions, and CPs. Biting Aura, Mastered Arms, Deadly Aim and Ironclad, Sustained by Suffering, Pain's Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Combination, pre-buff yourself with Blue Betty, Lotus and Active Blast, start with Deep Fissure, Fetch Infection, Dawnbreaker and Frost Reach.
that's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and comment below. I really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Peace. to believe